What if I told you there was a way to dynamically change the mood of your stream BGM, like in a video game? In order to accomplish this, you'll need OBS Studio, the Move plugin, which I will link below, and at least two variations of the same BGM that start and finish at the same time and contain the same song structure. You'll probably need to get this commission, but there are plenty of VTuber BGM composers out there, such as myself, so find one that suits your vibe and reach out to them. All right, so first things first, Make sure that you are on the latest version of OBS, which as of this video is 31.0.3, and that you have the Move plugin installed. If not, go install those first. So first thing you'll want to do is make a new group and give it the same name as your BGM title. For this example, I'll be using my own composition, Cross the Heavenly River. Next, uh, go ahead and drop uh, both of the variations of the BGM into OBS Studio and drag them into the group. Turn off the group visibility for now. Go ahead and set the monitoring preferences to your liking. And make sure that both of the BGMs are set to loop. Next, we're going to add a filter to the first BGM. We're going to add the move value filter and name it volume up. Change the setting to source volume and the value to whatever volume you'd like. This will definitely vary from one BGM to the next, but 25% should be a good starting point. Now, the custom duration is the amount of time it will take to crossfade between the two BGMs. I generally like mine around 1000 milliseconds, but again, this will depend on your BGM as well as your personal preferences, so adjust accordingly. Next, we're going to duplicate the filter and call it volume down. Change the value to 0%. And that's it for this track. Now repeat the same process for the second BGM. Cool. Now we're gonna set the hotkeys. Go over to settings and uh, hotkeys. And in the filter area, type volume so it's easier to find. And what we're basically doing here is setting up one hotkey to activate the main version of the BGM and another hotkey to activate the alternate version. So go over to volume up and set a hotkey. I'm going to use control backslash and do the same for volume down. I'm going to use control forward slash. Next, you're going to apply the exact same hotkeys to the alternate version, but in the reverse order. So control forward slash for volume up and control backslash for volume down. Click apply. And if you have a stream deck, now is a good time to program those shortcuts. Make the group visible and press the hotkey for the main BGM. And here we go.
if you want to turn off the BGM completely, just turn off the visibility on the group. And to play the BGM again, simply toggle the visibility on the group back on. If you're a VTuber, I hope that this video was helpful and can also inspire some cool ideas for your stream audio. And if you're a composer like me, I hope that this video can inspire you to offer a new type of service to your clients. If you have a client who's interested in doing this kind of project with you, feel free to send them this video and the two of you can figure it out together. And I'm still pretty new to this whole YouTube thing, but if you could like and subscribe, that would really mean the world. All right, so have fun, keep on creating, and keep on chasing those dreams, all right? See you next time.